First tonight at 5.30, a powerful and emotional message in Warwick. As dozens gathered to celebrate the anniversary of the first safe house for abused women in Rhode Island, R. Kelly's ex-wife spoke about her experience. Drea Kelly first told her story in the documentary Surviving R. Kelly. And today in Warwick, she shared why she spoke up and said it was a long journey to go from victim to survivor and has advice for Rhode Islanders that are victims today. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us now live in studio with more on her moving speech. That's new at 530. Steve. Well, R. Kelly has said his ex-wife is lying. He questions why she's doing this. But Drea Kelly recalled several moments today when she started to realize she needed to leave and how hard it was to finally go. How about this? In the crowded banquet hall of the Warwick Country Club, Drea Kelly takes the podium and tells a story about how as a dancer and choreographer, she first met R. Kelly. And I'm like, oh, this is a really confident man. The two would marry and have three children. This charming man was actually going to become my cunning enemy. At the luncheon celebrating 40 years since the launch of the Elizabeth Buffum Chase Center, the first safe house for abused women in Rhode Island, Drea said R. Kelly was abusive to her for years. You will justify being intimidated and slapped and punched and kicked because at least my kids won't know about powdered milk. What kind of woman would tear down a dad? In an explosive sit-down interview with Gail King earlier this month, R. Kelly defended himself against the accusations of abuse. I didn't do this stuff. This is not me, y'all. I'm fighting for my life. Back in Warwick, Drea said her abuse hit a breaking point when she considered jumping from a balcony. I was willing to jump and leave my babies with this man. I thought, God, I can't take any more. I'm done. R. Kelly spent three nights in jail this month for failing to pay overdue child support for their three kids. He's also pleaded not guilty to 10 counts of sexual assault. I told my story because I wanted people to know one thing. At the end of the day, I don't deserve anything that my ex-husband did to me, but I'm fully responsible for how long I let him do it. An agent for Drea Kelly said she could not comment on the overdue child support uh, or Kelly's charges. On our website, WPRI.com, we have listed the signs of domestic violence and a list of resources to find help. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.